Hello everyone and welcome back to another Vanilla Tweaks update video here on the second channel and a quick and brief announcement from me at the beginning of this one I am no longer actually part of the Vanilla Tweaks team I've decided to leave and let those guys take it in their own direction since they're pretty much doing all of the stuff for the project and they have been for a long time so a big thanks to those guys for making such an amazing thing out of Vanilla Tweaks. And in this video I'm showing you all of the new resource packs that have been added over the last month or so Pretty much all of them were made by Stridey, so a big thank you to you for adding these awesome additions to the game. If you're wondering what the menu panorama right here is in the background, well this is pack.png seed turned into a panorama. If you're not aware in the Minecraft community, there was some reverse engineering going on, a massive communal effort to figure out what seed and location pack.png png was taken from which was the default image for data packs and it's been discovered and now turned into a menu panorama which you can choose from the vanilla tweaks website and going back into the world here the one thing you'll notice behind me are the bushy leaves these are now available on vanilla tweaks you've probably seen me chatting about that in my hermit craft episodes that was the one pack here not made by stridey it was made by polly boy who's no longer part of the team so thanks to polly boy and the rest of these ones they're made by stridey and the first five additions I'm going to show you are variated textures. I absolutely adore these. What they do is make subtle changes to the textures as you place them over and over again in the world. So they look less repetitive when you stare at a flat wall like that. So, for example, if you focus on this bit and then look at it in the next block, you can see it's slightly different. And it just alleviates some of the repetition from building. This has been given to birch logs and I believe it might eventually end up on all the different types of log. We've also got endstone being added to this category. So another texture that appears in large quantities naturally but now has some variations in them to spruce it up. And another really cool one here is the red mushrooms. As you can see the dots and the amount of them kind of move around per block. I see one there with four in total. And that is a nice addition. We've also got bookshelves, but these are not your normal bookshelves. That was already a part of the pack. These are your connected ones, which for some reason aren't working. And I got a feeling it's because I derped and selected the wrong thing in the resource pack menu. Let's see if my suspicions were correct. Yeah, there you go. Now you've got both the connected texture to make it into one big bookshelf and the variations together. Next up, we got some animated campfires down here in the hotbar. These look absolutely fantastic. Normally, those are, of course, static. And there are also icons for beds available. These got transformed into 3D models. And previously, they had icons like this, which are available again. Now, when you eat food in this game, you get particle effects like so. And that's been removed from the resource pack called Don't Eat the Bowl because... The particle effects were simply the bowl itself, which is the part you don't actually eat. We've also got end rods that now have a pink base, kind of like the neutral end rods. You've now got an option to change them to pink ones like this. In the world of PvP, there's now an option for short swords. The idea here being that when you hold it, it's taking up less of your screen when you're looking at your opponents and trying to hack them down. We've also got a flint arrow resource pack as well. So you can see the top of the arrow is now flint, which makes sense in comparison with the crafting recipe. If I shoot this thing, you can see on the bow, it's got flint at the end. And when we go and look at the arrow on the ground, if we just move that out of the way, it's actually sort of tricky to see. If I just use my brain a little bit here, we can see that... The 3D model itself has the flint. There is also a utility resource pack for saplings. You see, they actually have two growth stages. And so if we go ahead and grow these with bone meal, <laughs> you can see you get this second stage, twice as tall one right here, which just looks kind of funky in my opinion. But if you really wanted to see that, you'd be able to do so now. Another thing to point out is that it doesn't actually have like a hit box, not a collision box at the top area. And anyway, it gives you a hint that it'll be ready to grow into a tree. And did this bottle of enchanting look different to you? Well, it's normally got the regular shape of a bottle of enchanting, yet when you throw it, you throw it, right? So it makes sense that it would be like a splash potion. What is up with these funky looking doors, right? Well, doors can be transparent. You can look through them. And so there's now a resource pack that will add glass to them. And it's actually not compatible with a couple of other packs I've currently got equipped. I did think about this. There is a resource pack for changing the colour of jungle wood and the crimson wood. 
So if you wanted a different tone for the wood plank colours, they are available. The jungle log as well, you can see the inside has been treated. When you look at it here, it really does match the outside texture. And the same thing for the crimson stem. And also this applies to signs and boats as well. So you can have yourself a, a jungle wood boat. And warped planks got a touch up as well. This is smoother warped planks. So the texture has been slightly smoothed out so it's easier on the eyes. And last of all, while we're in game here, before we switch to a different resource pack, I need to look up Enchanted Books because I really like this one. Uh, as you'll see, they now have number levels instead of Roman numerals. So there is a resource pack for that. If you prefer seeing the number rather than Roman numeral, well, now you've got that option. And let's actually check out this new resource pack because it's part of a new section called Parity on the Manila Tweaks website. You can bring over features from Dungeons and from Bedrock as well. So we'll jump into the game and see these differences between the different versions brought into the vanilla version of the game. Behold, the Dragon Fireball, which has a very different texture on Bedrock. I, I wasn't aware of that. Also, Explosion Particles are different. These are the ones from Bedrock Edition, so you can now have those inside your vanilla game. And also, the Dried Kelp texture here is slightly different. It's just a little bit greener. I don't know why, but you've now got an option to bring that in. So I've got to admit it, from afar this almost looks the same, but when you look closer at the Terracotta, the texture here, it's kind of amazing. I think that's actually really nice. I'd probably soften it a bit myself if I were to tweak and change these things, but it looks really cool. And behind me, the other two textures from Dungeons are Dirt, which you can see is part of the grass texture as well, and the Stone, which I think with a little variation would look fantastic. And again, from further away, it just kind of ends up looking normal. Now the default Alex and Steve skins are different, of course I am not an Alex or a Steve, but the Creeper is another one that's been changed, and I love that. <laughs> that is seriously cool. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of you are going to have fun with this one. So going back to the website, VanillaTweaks.net, in the Peace and Quiet category we now have Quieter Rain because it can be quite loud and obnoxious by default. And in unobtrusive, we have two new categories here. We got the unobtrusive snow. If you've ever seen snow in game, it can be pretty big on the screen. You know, it makes a lot of noise. So this will reduce that. And we've also got unobtrusive particles that make some of the particles smaller and transparent. So it doesn't take up as much of the visual real estate, let's say. And so here we are in a snowy biome where it's snowing. You can see how uh, crazy the rain effect is, right? But as we go into this area, the snowy one isn't as burdensome now to look at. So that's a really nice addition. And back to the website for the retro category. There's been two additions. Old Planks brings back all of those older plank textures. And then Old Minecraft logo reverts the game menu one to the very first logo that was made out of cobblestone blocks. And down here in the fixes category, I've highlighted some minor changes that are considered things that were overlooked in the graphical overhaul of 1.14. Or for example, the soul soil campfire not using the soul soil texture. There's a fix for that. The inside of the hoppers can actually use the texture that was designed for them. And there's a pixel problem on the smoker texture which has been fixed through this pack and of course there's far more than what you've seen in this video there are many little tweaks and changes compatibility compatibility issues that get solved and the best thing to do is to periodically head back to the website drop your data pack in this little bit right here to then update it and download the latest one and if you want the full details on everything um, that's been updated you can find it in the announcements channel on the discord server of vanilla tweaks which will be linked in the description box down below so um, thank you again for watching. Thanks for striding for all these amazing textures, and I'll see you soon on another one. Bye-bye.